Today, let's create a capsule wardrobe example for the soft natural kibbe type. I've had so many requests for my kibbe capsule wardrobe series, I will definitely be bringing more kibbe capsule wardrobes and kibbe content to you over the coming year. My goal for this series is not to provide a perfect capsule wardrobe for a specific body type, but to show a few concepts, items, and style elements that you can adopt to honor your body type in your own capsule wardrobe. Like I've said in all of my Kibbe Capsule Wardrobe videos, I want to break out of those common Kibbe stereotypes and show you how you can really own your personal style while still incorporating some of Kibbe's recommendations into your wardrobe. If you're not sure what your Kibbe body type is, I'll link tons of resources in the description box below. I'm also happy to help you out if you want to DM me on Instagram or book a style talk with me. And I welcome you to leave any questions you might have in the comments down below so that I know exactly what you want to learn next. Before we jump into Kibbe's descriptions of the soft natural body type, I just want to say that everything I'm presenting here is my own interpretation of Kibbe's work and may not always align with his intentions for his system. I'll always encourage you to visit the Strictly Kibbe Facebook group if you want to learn more straight from the source. Okay, now let's get into an introduction of the soft natural woman. All of the Kibbe body types are primarily described by their unique mix of yin or feminine traits and yang or masculine traits. The soft natural woman is a beautiful combination of soft yang and a pronounced yin or romantic undercurrent. Her dominant descriptors are width and curve, and this width primarily shows up in the shoulder and bust area. Her yang body structure is frame dominant and bluntly angular, with yin traits appearing in her soft flesh, shorter stature, and full rounded facial features. She has a moderate to short vertical line, slightly angular bone structure, and somewhat square or broad shoulders. She's a bit soft and may have a small waist in comparison to her bust and hips. She may appear slightly curvy, a gentle hourglass. Her arms and legs tend to be average or slightly short. She may even appear compact or muscular. Her facial features are full and rounded, with rounded eyes, full lips, and soft cheeks. Her nose may be small and wide or slightly blunt and wide. Some great examples of soft natural women are Fergie, Julie Andrews, and Jennifer Lopez. Keywords for the soft natural include curved, soft, flowing, unconstructed, asymmetrical, gentle, light, relaxed, fresh, and artistic. So now that we know a little bit more about the soft natural body type, let's talk about the color palette for this capsule wardrobe. In Kibbe's Metamorphosis, he talks about color recommendations for each of the body types. However, I disagree that color type is explicitly tied to your body type. It is true that lighter, softer colors will create a more dreamy or romantic effect, while darker and more saturated colors will create a sharper, more dramatic effect. However, you will look best in the colors that share the most qualities with your natural coloring, regardless of your body type. If you're interested in learning more about how to build your perfect color palette, check out this playlist when you're done watching this video. Today, we're going to create a fresh and quirky autumn color palette. To accomplish this, I started with a super earthy neutral base of dark brown, army green, and dark khaki. I want to create some quirky outfit combinations, and I know that bright colors look great with these mid-range neutrals. So I'm also going to add this amazing chartreuse yellow and light green as my statement colors. And for some additional neutrals, let's add creamy white, denim blue, charcoal gray, and black. Now that we have our color palette, let's put together our soft natural capsule wardrobe. Just as I did in my previous videos, I'm going to show you some soft natural outfit combinations that don't necessarily follow all of the Kibbe rules. But let's start by talking about some pieces that are harmonious with the soft natural body type. This flowy black midi skirt is a perfect year-round piece for the soft natural. The softly draped fabric will beautifully complement the soft natural's curves and balance her figure with just a touch of volume below the waist. Bias cuts are always excellent for any natural body type. The mid-weight fabric honors her soft yang, and the slightly shorter midi length is perfect for the soft natural's moderate vertical line. When it comes to denim for the soft natural, a relaxed ankle length straight leg or wide leg is perfect. I added this pair of blue cropped jeans, 
and this pair of black wide leg jeans, which will be long lasting and versatile basics for the capsule. Another wardrobe staple for many soft naturals is a relaxed v-neck cardigan. The shape is classic and casual, and the soft texture and v-neckline perfectly complement the soft naturals frame and relaxed essence. I also find that slim turtlenecks also suit soft naturals. This cream version is a great layering piece, while this black one with an asymmetric cutout at the shoulder is one of those amazing basics with a twist that I'm always keeping my eye out for. It's also worth noting that asymmetry is a really flattering element to incorporate for natural types. Now let's have a bit of fun with the rest of the capsule. This green twist front top fits our color palette and will look great as a layering piece over our turtlenecks, a tank top, or with a bralette in the warmer months. Let's also add a graphic tee, which incorporates those chocolate brown and light green colors. It's oversized and flowy, super comfortable, and a great cut for the soft natural type. And finally, this chartreuse sweater brings a little bit of edgy and quirky personality into the capsule. Let's add one more pair of pants. I couldn't resist these super comfortable Nanushka leather pants in a wide leg drawstring style. They're such a cool statement piece that can be worn casually every day or dressed up with some heels or boots. Instead of a dress, I decided to add a strapless jumpsuit to this capsule. The strapless style is great for any natural type because it doesn't restrict the shoulder line. The wide leg will also balance out the natural's frame by adding some volume to the bottom of the silhouette. For jackets, a relaxed denim jacket with some embellishment detail and an oversized faux leather blazer can both be dressed up or down for maximum versatility. Now let's choose some shoes. I always like to keep the shoe selection practical, but not without personality. Let's add a clean pair of white sneakers and a pair of black western style boots as our neutral basics. Then for more of a statement, this pair of khaki ankle boots and these green kitten heel sequin slides will bring just enough interest to any outfit. For accessories, I chose two bags, one green ruched shoulder bag that can also be converted to a clutch, and an almost neon green crossbody bag for a fun pop of color. I also included a pair of slightly squared gold hoop earrings and a pair of square aviator sunglasses. Softly squared accessories are perfect because they repeat that bluntly angular shape of the natural body type. The final capsule includes six tops, four bottoms, one jumpsuit, two jackets, four shoes, and two accessories for 21 items which can create at least 36 interchangeable outfits. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it inspires you to learn more about your own kibby body type. Which kibby body type are you? Let me know in the comments down below which kibby image ID you'd like to see next. And if you're looking for some help with your kibby image ID or your color type and you're looking for some outfit recommendations, I'd love for you to book a style talk with me. After your style talk, you'll receive a personalized style guide with nine shade color palette, body type analysis, and three outfit recommendations. If you're interested, links to all of my styling services, as well as all of the items featured in this video can be found in the description box below. If you genuinely like this video and found it useful, please give it a like and subscribe for more personal style and capsule wardrobe videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.